Hello and welcome to Medical Microbiology, Spring 2018. Um, I'm Dr. Johansson and I just wanted to take you on a short guide of Canvas and where things are located for this class and then go through the syllabus with you. So you are obviously here on Canvas or you wouldn't be able to see this um, video. This is our homepage. So the homepage uh, which you click on over here will change every week or so. I'll give you some background information. I'll update um, things. Announcements is where I send out kind of mass emails to the class, uh, which I will be sending one out after um, I finish this video telling you the course is open. Um, so if you ever miss an announcement, you can just click here and look through everything I've sent. What's probably most important is that you find the modules. So I'm over here, I don't know, I, I can't see myself so I have no idea what you can see, but in the modules, um, the one you want to be working through right now, this first week of school, is the syllabus, general course information, general assignment information. And this little symbol right here says that this is a page. So I try to place the weekly home pages also in um, the modules so that you can find them. But if you don't um, see them, you can always click on pages. So this left hand bar is your navigation tool. And if you don't see it, it may be because you need to click on the little three bar Thing over here. I don't know what the right terms are. And you can click on view all pages and now you're going to see a bunch. This is my view, but um, I should have put this in student view, but that's okay. Um, you'll see all these ones that are green and published and you can find all pages that way. So don't be afraid to click. You can't run anything. Um, but modules are where you'll find most uh, the information each week. Sorry. So, for instance, here's the syllabus that we're going to go through. Here's the calendar. Here's the official academic policies and deadlines. Um, how, information on how you do your write-ups, grading rubrics, that kind of stuff. And oops, then I will put homeworks into one module so it's easy to find. And then you'll start to see... Um, here are, again, a page that introduces the microbes, something to download. This is a PowerPoint that goes along with the videos I've made. This is a page with all the, let's just go there, um, links to the lecture videos. So this will come up and you can click on these YouTube videos and um, watch all my lovely lecture videos. Um, I made these last spring when I first taught this course and I am not great with technology and I was having a hard time with um, the videos so sometimes they're five minutes sometimes they're 55 minutes it just depends if it's agreeing with me or not <laughs> um, discussions when we get into the um, primary journal articles, we will be participating in a lot of group discussions. So you can find those here. You can always make your own discussion by adding plus discussion. And this would be sent out to the whole class. And you could make one that says, help, what is a protozoa or something. You know, you're making a, a, up a question. Whoops. And you could write something. I am lost. Whatever. And then you save and publish. My computer slow. My internet slow. And then people could reply here. Um, it's a eukaryote, right? So just like 
we can chat in class, you guys can chat on Canvas, and you will be doing this a lot in the um, weeks where we're discussing journal articles, um, but you can also always start a discussion. I will always check these uh, daily or every other day to see if someone has a question. So if you have a question about, I can't find such and such on Canvas, start a discussion. Um, I like to answer things for online classes on discussions because a lot of times multiple people have the same question and that way everyone can find the resource. Um, so um, I don't know what else to say. Move around um, Canvas site, everything that you need will be on here. Um, so let's talk about how this class is going to work. All right. So I never know what's going Okay. So here is the syllabus. You can download it. Um, you can read it online. Um, my contact information. Yes, you can email me through Canvas. But if you're trying to attach something like, "Hey, Dr. J, I found this really cool article. Uh, here it is." Do it from your UC Denver account to my UC Denver account right down here. If you try to do it through Canvas, half the time Canvas deletes attachments. I don't know why. Sometimes they come through. Um, but if you're attaching something, it's the best to go directly from um, the UC Denver account to my UC Denver account. Um, I am on campus on Mondays and Wednesdays. I teach a virology class, which is advanced topics in microbiology from 12.30 to 1.45 on Mondays and Wednesdays. So I have office hours from 12 to noon. I'm in 2073 Science. I'm over by the main biology office. But I'm down this one little weird, um, like partial hallway where the admin people are. So um, if you can't find me, I try to put signs out like, Dr. J is down here, but it's still a weird place. I'm kind of isolated from everybody else. But, um, I am physically on campus. If you ever wanted to come in and talk to me, I'd love to chat with you. Um, I do sometimes come in on other days, so if a Tuesday or Thursday or even a Friday works better for you, um, just send me an email and we can see if there's a, a mutually be uh, beneficial, what's the word? Mutually good time. <laughs> a good time that's best for both of us. Okay. Um, you wouldn't have been able to get into this class unless you have passed microbiology. Um, I hope that you've maybe had a genetics or cell or intro to molecular, um, a couple, 3,000 level courses under your belt. Um, those are ones that could help you with the information in this class, but obviously not required. Um, we are going to be using... I'll put it over my face. Um, this textbook, MIMS Medical Microbiology, um, you'll see pages assigned, so let's just do that. Um, so this is the course schedule, and you can see the different chapters that are assigned. So the first five weeks of this course, we're working from the textbook and online lectures, and kind of orienting ourselves to different types of microbes. Um, how they move from person to person, how they cause disease, um, how they survive our immune system. So some real general uh, concepts about um, different categories of microbes. So you'll see you have homework due. Um, there will be submission links through Canvas. Your homework has to be either in a Word document or PDF. So I cannot read, I think it's called pages or whatever Mac people use. So you've got to save it like as either a Word document or a PDF to um, submit it. Everything you submit in this class goes through um, a plagiarism detection program called Turnitin. Uh, let me just say this right now. Don't cheat. Don't plagiarize. Don't copy. Don't copy other people's. Don't copy and change a few words. Um, I am really beyond tired of dealing with um, cheating and plagiarism. Um, you'll, I'll show you my syllabus. I have a two-strike rule. And 
at this level in your college career, there's no excuse not to write everything in your own words. So don't do it, okay? Play, turn it in will actually send you a report back if you turn it in in the correct format and it will tell you, okay, it found 2% plagiarism or it found 28% plagiarism. And it will highlight, so you can click on the report. You can go back through and fix things, okay? As long as it's not past the deadline when things are due. And I will always grade the last submission you have put in through Canvas. Um, I usually don't have issues in 4,000 level classes, but I have major cheating issues in 3,000 level classes, and I'm really over it. So um, don't do it, no mercy, no excuses. Okay, so here's our first five weeks. Um, you'll be pretty much working kind of on your own. Um, and again, we can always discuss things through, um, sorry, I have to see where I'm at, through Canvas. Okay, through the discussions. Um, there is a, well, let's see. I always get ahead of myself. Okay, let's let's just go through this a little bit. Um, okay, so the first five weeks, we're focusing on MIMS medical microbiology and online lectures. After the first five weeks, let's go back to this, where it's yellow, we're going to be tackling primary literature. So I'm um, going to have a... <clears throat> like a review article and a primary literature journal article with data that we're going to talk about. And we're going to take two weeks to go through these papers and really get a um, hopefully a good discussion and a good understanding going. Um, last year I did one paper per week and uh, I don't think people got as much out of it so I'm, I'm slowing it down. Um, I want you to learn how to read and dissect and evaluate um, journal articles. So that's a big goal for 4,000 um, level classes. And um, so I'm going to give us time to do that. I want you to understand some of the techniques that scientists use to study these pathogens. Um, I want you to understand some of the big picture of um, how these things affect our body, how they're transmitted, do we have vaccines or medicines for them, why or why not. So um, I think, I'm hoping that the two-week time period gives us a good chance to do the discussions. And then at the end, you have a um, final paper due. So there is, hmm, I don't have the exam. All right, I gotta write myself a note. If I don't write things down, I don't remember anything. Um, and my codes come too. I don't know where it went. Okay. Um, so you don't have a final exam, you just have a final paper due, um, due on Tuesday of final exam week. So we'll talk about that. All right, let's go back to the syllabus. Um, yes, and you will be able to do this paper either by yourself or in a group of two. Okay, we'll talk about that later. You guys have got to be able to get on campus, I would say every day, every other day at the latest. Um, if you don't have good internet access at home, go to Starbucks, come onto campus, go to a library. Um, you've got to be able to upload documents and submit them. You've got to be able to participate in discussions. Um, and you have to do it all the time, like a few times per week. So don't think that this is an online class and you're just like, okay, here's the material, I'll see you in May or whatever. Um, it's gonna take a lot of participation, like I said, almost um, every day. So make sure you can get online. Uh, best way to contact me is by email. Um, I don't use the phone because I don't like to play telephone tag. I will always respond to you within 24 hours. <coughs> Even on weekends I check um, email. If I have not, assume I did not get it and send me another email. Okay, so I'm really trying, even if I say, oh Jennifer, I don't even know if there's Jennifer in this class, but Jennifer, I don't have time to get talk to you about this, let me look it up and I'll get back to you later. 
I will send you that email within 24 hours. Okay. Um, so if you don't hear from me, resend it. Okay. Um, be polite in your emails. Um, I know we all kind of can do short emails. So please, if I just quickly answer a question, that's because I'm trying to get back to you and get you some information. I'm not trying to be rude. Um, email is, is always hard to judge tone. So please always assume that I am being nice and friendly and I will assume that you're being nice and friendly unless you are nasty. <laughs> um, okay, so read through the learning objectives. Um, these are the learning objectives for 4,000, 5,000 level classes. So that means sometimes we have graduate students in this class, master's level students. Um, they have sometimes some different, you'll see a little slightly different grading. Um, but I challenge you all pretty hard. Um, I'm going to challenge you to be able to read and dissect primary literature and to demonstrate your understanding in a written format. Um, yeah, there's a lot of writing in this class. Okay. Um, I try to give lots of feedback to help you improve your communication skills, your written communication skills. Um, I'm not an outstanding writer by any means, but I want you to be accurate in your writing. I want you to use examples. Um, remember, I can only grade what you give me. Okay, so I can't infer that you know something, so spell it out for me. You know, give me those examples. Um, show me you know you can do critical thinking and analy analyzation, analyzing. Um, and you'll have to apply this information. So everything's online here, right? Your exams are online. Your exams are not timed. You'll have several days to complete an exam, which means I expect them to be proofread. I expect them to have a nice flow. I expect them to be in complete sentences and grammar checked and um, all that good stuff. So give yourself plenty of time for this class. You have different types of assignments. Um, and I'm gonna go through these real brief right now. I want you to read through them. And then as we move from section to section, in the course, I will explain things a little bit further. But what you're going to be doing these first few weeks is what I call lecture week questions. You can see right here, homework one, two, three. And so this will be asking you questions to apply what you've been learning from the textbook and from the lectures um, to short answer questions. Okay, so there's no multiple choice in this class. There's no true false. It's all short answer essay questions. Um, your first exam will be based on this type of material. I try to never ask for a definition because people go, oh, well, I need to define this and I'm going to, you know, use the back of the textbook or use Wikipedia or use something, okay? I always want everything in your own words. Um, I love compare contrast questions because it really shows me your thought process. So, um, if you look in the modules, you will see compare contrast questions, a guide to accept, success, homework, general guidelines. Read these. These are explaining my expectations for your writing. Um, you will be writing uh, journal article write-ups and news and views write-ups when we get into the primary literature. You have a big chunk, 20% um, of your grade is class participation. Okay. This is gonna be during the primary um, literature discussion and we'll talk more about that, but you've gotta participate. If we don't all discuss and help each other out in these small groups, you're not really getting um, what you should be out of a 4,000 level class. Like I said, you'll have two exams. First one's on based on the lecture and textbook. The second one's based on the literature that we discuss. And then a final pathogen paper. Um, oh, everybody likes extra credit. So 
your assignment this week is to introduce yourself. So there is a discussion um, right here. You click on discussions and it says introduce yourself. Okay, you have until I think I made it a later date than February 1st. I gotta check. And I have to write. Okay. So, no, oh, nope, it's February 1st. Okay. So you gotta get on it. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Share something. You have to have some kind of picture on your profile. It can be a picture of your dog. I would prefer a picture of you somewhere because I like to put names and faces together. Um, can be, you know, I don't know, picture of the beach because that's what you love. But um, you come down and you click on reply here and you talk about your favorite classes and what your degree is and what you want to do with this and some fun fact about you. Um, all or nothing points, complete it by February 1st. At the end of the semester, I will add 2% onto your final grade. So we calculate grades, say you end up with an 88, you've done your introduce yourself by the deadline, you're up to a 90. Really don't not do this. Um, I am a hard grader, you'll, you'll want that 2%. Um, you also will have a epidemiology assignment um, I haven't gotten that posted yet, but that will be due towards the end of the semester. So you'll have plenty of time to work on that if you choose. Uh, grading, pretty much general grade scale. I don't give minus grades because I don't have to and people just get upset when they get a B minus or a C minus because it messes with your GPA. I do give pluses, but I don't round up. So if you end up with a 79.9, Sorry, you're going to get a C plus. That's why you always want to do that extra credit, right? Um, you can read through the attendance policy, basically participate. Um, read through this. You're responsible for everything posted on Canvas. So always be aware of announcements, looking at home pages, and go through everything in those weekly modules. Assignments, you'll have a submission link. Um, you'll see those each week where things are due. You click it on, click on it, you upload your document, it goes through Turnitin, um, the plagiarism checker. Don't email me assignments, okay? Um, I don't accept emailed assignments, I don't accept late assignments. You know these due dates, make sure you get things done. If you decide to wait till 11.58 at night and you're computer crashes or your internet goes out or you get home past curfew and it's 12 15 a late assignment's not accepted you'll earn zero for that assignment so don't leave things to the last minute um, here's the two percent here talks about lecture week questions this talks about journal article write-ups class participation like I said you're zoning out already. I'm talking way too much, so we'll talk about this more as we get there. Um, let's see. Read through this, read through this. Um, general course information. So you're responsible. The syllabus is the contract between you and me. Um, by staying in this class means you have read the syllabus and you agree to everything. So if you have an issue, you need to let me know ASAP. Um, it talks about religious observance. <laughs> yeah, observation, uh, dates, regrade requests. Uh, I keep grades up to date. I My goal is to get everything back to you within a week. Two weeks is the very latest. Um, I like to give you immediate feedback. Academic integrity, like I said, don't cheat. Um, the newest um, cheating method that I had to deal with last semester was students were posting my homework questions on Chegg and some expert was giving them answers. <laughs> Fortunately for a couple of these groups, the expert 
gave them the same answer. They copied and pasted it, got caught for cheating. And you know what? The expert didn't even answer the question I'd asked. So double whammy, don't do it. Um, I have talked to Chegg. They actually will tell me who submitted questions. Um, and if I find out that you are, have done that, that's considered plagiarism and cheating. Okay. So don't do that. Don't use quotes. Okay. Paraphrase, summarize everything. Put it all in your own words. Um, plagiarism, plagiarism, plagiarism. Uh, exams. Yes, they're online. Yes, you have a few days. Do not talk to other people about them. This is your own individual work. Okay. Um, I try to make some kind of creative questions to challenge you. So give yourself time. Read through them. Maybe write out some, you know, notes about how you think you're going to answer it. Let your brain digest it for a while. Come back to it. You've got days that you can work on these things. Um, special needs and accommodations. If you um, have an accommodation, let's talk ASAP. Um, because this class is online, requires group participation. Um, when you know the due dates ahead of time, we shouldn't need to uh, have extensions, but. If you have an accommodation, please talk to me. Um, the care team, I just want to mention that um, I have sent in care reports for students because I do care. Um, and I don't want you to be offended by it. I, if I feel like a student, if I sense a student struggling or um, having safety issues or having perhaps, um, I want to say mental, but some issues that they might need help, I do not hesitate to fill out a care um, report and people will contact you and check on you. Um, so that's, that's me. Um, campus closure, unless the website goes down, doesn't apply to you, incomplete grading, grievance, read all of that. Um, here's a few bits of uh, dates that are important. Um, if you go for a few days in this class and are like, oh no, you got to do drop it by January 21st um, online, or um, or no, sorry, January 22nd, or you're going to end up giving the university at least 100 bucks um, after January 31st you start to get a W. So it shows on your transcript that you have withdrawn from the class. Uh, April 1st is your last day to withdraw. If you don't withdraw by that and you do this all on UCD access, so you don't even have to talk to me. Um, although I'd like to know if you decided to drop the class and if there's anything I can do to help you. Um, if you don't do it by April 1st, you get whatever grade you earn in this class. Uh, finals week, finals grades. Okay, let me just look at my little cheat sheet. Um, I think that is all I want to tell you at this time. So, thanks for watching. Welcome to Medical Microbiology. Um, it's going to be a really fun uh, semester. Um, we're going to talk about some really cool pathogens um, and you can see right here I'm still kind of debating so if there's something you've been hoping to learn don't hesitate to send me an email um, I want to I just saw this wonderful uh, I don't know, display um, at one of the nature and science museums about our gut microbiome and how it might be um, connected to autism and depression and Alzheimer's so the gut and the brain. I think that's really cool. Um, so we're going to do at least one paper on that. We might be doing two. Um, we're going to talk about the hygiene hypothesis and why we are so sick in this country compared to actually underdeveloped countries have a lot fewer autoimmune diseases and um, asthma type things and allergies. Um, and toxoplasma is just this really cool pathogen um, that's in the guts of your cat and um, can go and affect your brain. So 
Um, there really probably is a crazy cat lady syndrome, probably crazy man, cat man syndrome too. Um, but we'll talk about that. So, so a couple of things I want to definitely hit and then do you've got some ideas? I'll look for papers. All right. Take care and uh, that's it.